Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. Today I've got really, really big news, starting with new information on AMD's next two generations of their Zen architecture, including the chance for eight core Ryzen 3 CPUs, a date for Nvidia's next gen and peer GPUs, and there's a ton of new things coming to third gen Ryzen. But first, check out today's sponsor, Drop. Formerly known as MassDrop, a group buy website with amazing deals on PC hardware. It's free to sign up, and if you do it today, you'll get $20 off your first drop made items. So head to the link in the description below. Okay, it's news time, and first up for today, I've got some official new information on AMD's third and fourth gen Zen architectures. Remember that Zen 3 is set to be the architecture in fourth gen Ryzen, and Zen 4 will make up fifth gen Ryzen. I know it's a little confusing, but it's that pesky Zen Plus that threw everything off. Anyway, at the HPC Advisory Council UK conference, AMD revealed a couple slides with details on their future Zen architectures. In this case, they were speaking in the context of Epic CPUs, but many of the features will likely transfer to Ryzen and other Zen-based processors, so it definitely says a lot. For one, the recent rumors about there being four threads per core coming has been effectively proven untrue, at least for next-gen processors, which is what I suggested regardless because Zen 3 is meant to be a talk version of their update cycle. If you're not sure what I'm talking about, I did a video on it right here. As for specs, the Zen 3 based Milan platform will feature the same maximum core count as Zen 2, but that doesn't mean Ryzen will. See, the biggest change here is an updating cache structure. Currently, chiplets are split up into two 4 core CCX modules, with each module containing 60 megabytes of L3 cache. Next Gen may be changing that to 8 cores because AMD shows us that Milan comes with a unified 32 megabytes of L3 cache. Basically, this helps with latency issues since there would be less uses of the Infinity Fabric for cords to talk to one another. How they're doing this is unclear. It could mean that they're changing their CCX modules to be 8 cores instead of 4. If so, that would mean the minimum cores a CPU could have is 8. Of course, it could be done differently for Ryzen, but this is definitely an exciting possibility. Also, you can see that Milan features the same SoC, so there's a chance that Fortune Ryzen will still be compatible with the AM4 platform. Fingers crossed there. As for memory, TDP, and PCI Express generation, those will remain the same, so it's not a huge difference, making this more of an uptick in clock and IPC increase from the 7 nanometer plus process, given we don't in fact get more cores. The roadmap also shows Milan entering the production process in the middle of Q3 of next year. Moving on to the following Zen 4 based architecture with the Epic chips, codenamed Genoa, AMD will begin using a new socket as well as quote, new memory, which likely means DDR5. Let's just say the company is moving faster and faster every day. Speaking of moving faster, Nvidia's next gen and peer based GPUs could be coming really, really soon. See, we've been hearing rumors about their next gen cards for a little while now, but so far we've just been given a 2020 timeframe. This time, we not only have confirmation of 2020, but in a story from Igor's lab, the man himself actually states that Ampere is coming in the first half of next year. Now, this could be AI cards, but consumer-based models will likely follow right after because it fits perfectly with the timing we expect from an NVIDIA release. Lastly for today, I haven't been over this story yet because the information was really vague and it didn't tell us much. Luckily, we've gotten some more details that really adds to it. For those who haven't seen yet, during an insider video from MSI, the company showed a slide on an upcoming Agisa code from AMD, which if you've been following the channel for a little while, you know their Agisa code is the microcode update sent to board partners to implement into their BIOS. The interesting thing here is that the upcoming update is set to fix over 100 things within Ryzen. Unfortunately, they didn't say much else, but thanks to the Meld Militia, who sent me a tweet by one Isthmus, we have a bit more. For one, it looks like we'll be getting some serious updates to clocks on AMD's third gen Ryzen CPUs. We're talking about actually getting precision boost, and that's big because plenty of users haven't been able to get the chip's rated boost clocks, much less the added precision boost frequencies. To top it off, according to one Isthmus, AMD is also trying to fix the split second boost on the 3900X and apparently 3950X. What that means is that we should actually see a more stable boost clock that isn't just these short bursts. Basically, AMD is serious about fixing the issues with boost clocks on 3rd gen Ryzen, meaning CPUs should be getting even faster very soon. I'll definitely be looking out for the updates to run some tests on my own, so make sure to subscribe so you can be updated on that. So while that does it for today, what did you think of the news? Excited for next gen Ryzen, or what about Nvidia's upcoming and peer-based GPUs? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you liked the video, please subscribe. And as always, have a great day.